Guys, we're going to learn how to do a Turkish getup in a slightly different way to the way that we have been doing it at the gym. Okay? So, just to revise, at the gym, we've been doing it. I'm holding up late because I don't have a dumbbell right now. But let's say, at the gym, we've been doing it where we come up like this and then we put the hip up, right? And then we go back and stand up. Completely. So this is one way of doing the Turkish get up. But what happens is for many people whose hip joint is stiff or tight, it is very difficult for them to do it like this. So we want to uh, do it in a slightly different way where we keep the benefit of the movement without, uh, um, you know, um, the limitation of not being able to do the hip drive. So watch me. The, the way of doing this movement is mainly to get the weight, to get the body into a standing position in whichever way you are comfortable getting up. Okay, in whichever way you are comfortable getting up, as long as the weight stays 90 degrees up with the elbow straight at all times. Okay, so the easiest and the most natural way that happens is that you come up on the elbow come up on the palm but if you see I'm leaning forward towards the hip which is on the floor so I sit on the hip which is on the floor and then come up into on my knee and stand up similarly while going back we lunge back take the leg back and sit on the hip of which the knee is on so we sit on it keeping this up at all times and Lie down on the side of that hip and then take the leg up. So showing it again. Come up on the elbow, on the knee, take the leg in. Lean forward and come up. Sitting on that hip. Back, leg back. Sit down. Then straighten the leg out. Come down on the elbow and go down. Just showing it to you for the other side as well. So it's actually a very smooth movement of standing up and that is the aim. The goal is that we want to be able to do it smoothly. The weight doesn't have to be heavy. What is important is that we are using our abs to get up into the standing position and get back down. So limit the use of the hand. Once you get better at doing this, then try to do it without using the hands. Now when you're using not using the hands, but don't do this rocking motion with the leg. Okay, so pushing the leg down, pushing the heel strictly into the floor. You want to come up and then straighten up in whichever way is comfortable for you. Some people will sit more like this, some people will sit back more. All of those are okay. Okay, in this way, of doing the Turkish get up, you'll find that it is uh, safer for people and the ones who cannot typically do an 8 kg, this is an 8 kg kettlebell, so you'll see that people who cannot typically do this movement easily with the 8 kg will still be able to do this movement quite well with the 8 kg. Sit back as long as the elbow stays straight and we're not pushing. So that was the variation of the Turkish get-up.